So I would like to begin this evening by introducing our Vice Mayor, Mr. Jean Mordeaux. He's going to provide a few welcoming comments. Thank you, everybody, if you could sit down and so we get started. Uh, so I'm John Mordo, I'm your vice mayor, and if I behave until next week, I might, I might become your mayor. Um, so uh, I want to, th first of all, start by thanking you all for coming and um, tell you how important this process is. Um, if you've watched what's happened the last uh, uh, six to eight years, um, the, um, there's, there's always been, um, there have been some attempts to um, some development to do some development in uh, in Los Altos, and then uh, so the prior council liberalized uh, development in uh, in part of Los Altos, and uh, the result was uh, First Street, and then there was a a backlash, and this council in December last year um, uh, changed the rules and. Um, limited the height, so we go back and forth. In the meantime, um, Los Altos is not evolving. Now, there are some people um, in town who want no development, and they think that everybody else should, should uh, agree with that. Uh, there are some people who want development like crazy, and they think everybody else should want that. Uh, so the purpose of this whole exercise is to figure out what is the sweet part. I, I, my guess is the majority of the people are in the middle. They would like to have some more development, but not too much. And so the whole purpose of this exercise is to figure out what is the sweet spot where you know, we have enough that it's lively and, 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 and economically viable, but still have the feel of the Los Altos that we all like and we moved in for. So anyway, so I'm going to turn it over to the professional. Uh, so this is very important. I mean, we've worked a long time on this, and now we are entering the final phase, just looking at what the possible scenarios are and what is their impact economically and aesthetically, what, the, what Los Altos could look like in five years, 10 years, or longer. Okay, with that, I'm going to turn it over back to our Community Development Director. Thank you very much, Vice Mayor Mordeaux. Uh, thank you all for coming this evening. This is a very important step in the downtown visioning process. Uh, the work that you'll see this evening is based on a lot of input and feedback and uh, community comment and outreach that we have done and that you have provided to us. And we have the development team here this evening to go over the four vision scenarios that have been developed and we really want you to take a close look at those. We're gonna be doing some tabletop exercises that we'll get into in a little bit. And your feedback and input this evening is going to help focus the ultimate downtown vision plan. So tonight's exercise is real important. It's um, again an opportunity for the community to really give us input on what it would like to see in the downtown for the future and then again help to focus the final document that we'll be bringing forward to the City Council. Um, over, just a quick overview of tonight's agenda, we're going to be doing some welcome and introductions. Our Vice Mayor's given us the welcome. Uh, project background, a summary of the community engagement efforts to date. Uh, then we're gonna go over the downtown vision scenarios that are up on the boards and um, on the wall there by the windows. Uh, then we're going to have Bill Lee provide an economic analysis overview. Then we're going to provide an opportunity for some questions and answers. And then the majority of the evening is really going to be spent for you, with you having to go through and work through the vision scenarios and identify what you would like to see for the, the future of downtown Los Altos. Uh, the project team, I'm, I'm John Biggs, the Community Development Director for the City of Los Altos here. Uh, we have Debbie Rudd and Scott Martin from the RRM Design Group. They are the principal consultants on this project. We also have Dave Javid, Plan to Place. He has been the community outreach uh, person that's had the most expertise in getting us a lot of the, the feedback and the input that we've received so far and that we'll continue to receive and reach out for. And then we have Bill Lee with the Land Econ Group, who's going to be going over the economic analysis and sharing some information about his findings on the economics of downtown Los Altos and the four scenarios they have in front of you. 
the project process is really sort of a layered process. Each, each of the steps in this process builds on past efforts that we've done to gain input and feedback from the community. Uh, there were a lot of background studies and reports that we have provided to the, the consultant team and have available for members of the community to look at. Uh, I think the one thing that everyone can agree on is that the downtown of Los Altos has had a lot of studies over the years, both from a, a parking standpoint and a design standpoint and even a land use standpoint and building form standpoint. And all of that information has gone into some of the data that we've shared with the community as we've gone through the various exercises. Uh, we've had Bill Lee that performed the economic vitality and uh, strategy analysis. Uh, then we've had quite a few community meetings and pop-up workshops uh, since the spring of last year. We've gone out into the community of a variety of forums. We've even had an online survey that we've conducted that we had really good participation on. And Dave Javid will be going over a lot of that information. And that was a community questionnaire. Uh, then we also have taken the initial three scenarios to our city council to council meeting. And we got feedback from the council on what the form of those scenarios should be. And we made some tweaks to the scenarios based on the input that they provided. And then what you see this evening are those three original scenarios with the tweaks. Plus, they threw out a challenge to us to come up with a fourth scenario that was an outside the box sort of thinking and something that you know is uh, a higher level of vitality and vibrancy in the downtown that provided uh, something much more um, extravagant than what the, the third scenario we had shared with the community. So again, those all led into the four scenarios, scenario one, two, three, and four. Just a quick overview of the timeline. We're now at the point where we've had, uh, we're here at community workshop number two, moving forward to do these and kind of go to use this information that we're gonna collect tonight in future workshops to uh, go towards a final um, preferred vision for the downtown and then start work on the actual downtown vision document. And with that, I'm going to bring up Dave Javid with Plan to Place, and he's going to go over the community outreach efforts. So thank you, everyone. Thank you very much, John. It's great to see so many familiar faces here today. Um, as John mentioned, we held a host of meetings throughout the community, approximately 25 meetings, um, including pop-up workshops, intercept work workshops, went out to the community, um, both at Farmer's Market, at the Junior Olympics, um, and a few other events. We also well, we met a lot of young families. We also went to Grant Park, uh, met with the senior community there, which was highly successful. Um, many chamber meetings, PTA meetings, community meetings, and I really want to commend city staff and all the hard work that they've done in helping us get the word out and meeting with folks to supplement the process. It's, an, it's been incredible to get this much outreach done in such a short amount of time. Um, John also mentioned we did this questionnaire where we mailed it, the questionnaire out to every single mailbox. Throughout the city, we reached about 1,544 respondents. Not about, that's a pretty exact number. Um, <laughs> that, uh, that gave us input, which was, again, fantastic. We're used to working in communities where we, we might reach 200 to 300. We're happy with 400 folks. So again, I commend you all for being so involved and giving us such great input. Uh, some of the questions we asked were really meant to get at what the folks perception is of the community today versus what they want to see it in the future. So one of the questions we asked asked whether folks thought the area or downtown area is currently too quiet, quiet, just right, active or lively. And that's represented here in this green graph versus, uh, <laughs> right, versus what they like to see in the future. Um, we, uh, whether it's quiet, quieter than it is now, like it is now, not as quiet, active, or lively. And as you can see by this graphic, um, most people thought, approximately 80% or so thought that it is either too quiet or quiet, and approximately 75% or so folks wanted to see some type of change or activity. They thought it might they, they don't want to see it quite as quiet as is right now. They want to see some more activity in the downtown area, which is what is represented in the four scenarios that will be presented today, or at least three of them. Uh, so when we asked what it meant to bring activity to the downtown, more than 50% or so really revolved around restaurants and entertainment and outdoor dining, um, every, everything from 
entertainment options to casual family to micro brews and gastro pubs. Um, there was I always talk about more parking downtown as well. There's a perception that maybe there isn't enough parking in the, in the area and that could be um, supplemented in some way. We'll have a lot of conversation about that tonight as well. And then more events and spaces for communities to gather. Um, that we, we heard a lot about that where people want spaces where they can come together with their neighbors and really congregate. So you'll see that reflected as well in the alternatives. So that's a very quick synopsis. We're happy to answer questions when we get to that point as well, but I'm gonna hand it over to Debbie now to take you through the scenarios.